As you know, the Earth's atmosphere consists of five layers. The outermost layer starts from the top of the thermosphere and extends to about 10,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Now, we know that clouds form inside the Earth's atmosphere, the most distant of which is called Cirrus. And we also know that the distance between the Moon and the Earth is 384,000 kilometers. And this means that the Moon is 374,000 kilometers away from the last layer of the Earth's atmosphere. And this means that the Moon must always be behind the cloud. Well, take a look at this video. As you can see, the Moon is front of the cloud. Although according to today's science, this can be due to various reasons. For example, the thickness of clouds, vision error, and so on. And of course, in all these cases, the moon is considered as a light source, not as a light reflector. So is this phenomenon can be related to a more important issue? In fact, in 2019, the European Space Agency and NASA found out that the Earth's atmosphere extends to 630,000 kilometers, and this means that the Moon is inside the Earth's atmosphere. What you see is the official website of the European Space Agency. In fact, this discovery was made when some curious people raised their cameras and took some photos and videos from the moon. Now, aside from that, the main question is, how is it possible that those who passed through the atmosphere and went to the moon and did not know how far the Earth's atmosphere is until three years ago are able to see the beginning of the world by James Webb? Oh no, no, wait! We know that clouds are formed in the troposphere. It means the closest layer of the atmosphere to the surface of the Earth. So the moon must be in the troposphere. And this makes no sense at all. Or maybe this is a simulation of reality that sometimes gets glitch. In fact, there is an important truth about this story which we will discuss in the next video.